Um, okay, so when you assign materials to a model, there are lots and lots of different ways that you can do it, and it really depends on the object. Uh, so let's take a wall, for instance. If I look at the wall, uh, there are two ways, main ways to do it. The first is to uh, edit type, duplicate your wall, edit the structure, and change the finished material uh, on either side to whatever you want it to be. In this case, they have a white like plaster, and they should actually be on the exterior parts of the wall, in theory. So uh, the material here would show is, in this case, it says VS White. That's going to show you as uh, just a flat matte paint here, uh, and that's all it is. Uh, so that's the uh, the kind of the official way to change the uh, material, and what that's going to do is any of the walls that are made from this type, so if I say uh, select all instances visible in view, any wall that's this wall is going to have that same material on it. Um, it's more of a universal change. Now if I just wanted to change one wall, um, so what I would do is go in and use the paint tool, and so that's right here. It's under modify. Uh, the, hat, the hotkey is PT. It's a little uh, checker ball pointing to a box. Used to be a paint bucket, made a lot more sense. Don't know why they changed it. So what I could do here is go through and pick um, any material I wanted to. So this is a really obnoxious yellow parking stripe paint. All I'd have to do is click uh, on the material that I'd want, and then I can go through and touch any surface is it's going to change that surface right away. So that's how you do that. Once you're done, you hit done. You go ahead and control Z those. Now, uh, if you want to change the material of a door, for instance, you click on the door, head edit type, you'll probably again want to duplicate the door. Uh, and then there's a door and frame material here uh, for the Revit standard doors. Okay, I've got a column here. Uh, column here uh, is right here under the primary properties for the column. Um, the materials for the mullions and uh, panels and curtain walls are all in here as well. So uh, material for the panel itself is done right here under system panel. And then, uh, you know, I'm not really sure about the mullions, where they, those are. Uh, I could look it up though. Um, I'm not really sure where those are, if they have material, where their material is. Um, Stairs are a little funky, so what you do is you would edit your stair itself, and then when you click on it, um, I believe you can edit type then, and the material comes up here. So you have to edit the stair first before you can click on it and hit edit again. Um, for some reason, they moved that because uh, it doesn't show up when you just click the stair in regular mode. Um, there aren't any windows in this project as far as I've gotten uh, in our other tutorials yet, but windows are similar. Oh, here's one. Here we go. Uh, so again, if I hit edit type, uh, there are materials in here for whatever you need. Um, railings, that's a wall. Railings. Um, click on the railing here. I edit the type. Uh, under the rail structure here, there's a material field if you uh, if you have multiple horizontal railings and then your balusters. I uh, hear it depends on what your baluster type is here. So if you have a, this has no balusters on it, um, theoretically there would be one there too. So i um, trying to think if there's any other ones. I don't think so. Be clear. Okay, 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 so that's railings. Uh, floors are in similarly the way you want to do floors is in the uh, structural edit right here. Ceilings, same thing. Make sure that when you're doing the ceiling that you're applying the material to the underside of the ceiling, not the top, very top layer. Uh, same thing with roofs, it's, it's just added to the layers. Uh, pretty straightforward. 